Here we're given a complex rational expression and we're asked to simplify using division. Now we'll begin by simplifying to obtain a single algebraic fraction in the numerator and a single algebraic fraction in the denominator. Now to do that we look for the LCD of the numerator here. Now in this case we have an x squared and a y squared. The LCD will be x squared times y squared. So we'll multiply numerator and denominator here by x squared and numerator and denominator here by y squared. That'll give us equivalent fractions with a common denominator, x squared times y squared. And that leaves us with, in the numerator here, x squared minus y squared. And there we have a single algebraic fraction. Now let's do the same thing here in the denominator. The LCD between x and y is x times y. So we'll multiply numerator and denominator here by x and numerator and denominator here by y. And so that'll leave us with x plus y over x times y in the denominator. So at this point we have a single algebraic fraction divided by another single algebraic fraction. To simplify further we know to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So we'll take x squared minus y squared over x squared y squared and we'll multiply that times xy over x plus y. Now at this point we can factor the numerator here x squared minus y squared that's a difference of squares. Factoring we have x plus y times x minus y over x squared times y squared. Now at this point in the section we're assuming all variable expressions in the denominator do not evaluate to zero. So we can then cancel common factors or in this case we can divide out a factor of x plus y. We can divide out a factor of x and y. And so that leaves us with x minus y over xy. And that's our final result. That's the simplified version of the original complex fraction.